Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in living color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for the weekend of April 30th and May 1st, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the National Guard. There's a moment you reach deep inside yourself when you find the courage to fight through the elements and you find the strength to save a life. These are the kinds of moments you'll experience in the National Guard. If you've got it inside you, this is your time to act. Visit the Guard online at nationalguard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. In our top story today, Kelly Taylor, a 10-year veteran of the Montgomery County Community Foundation, has been named the new executive director, effective August 1st replacing Ann Malott, who is retiring. Quote, it's a great honor, Taylor said on Friday. It's a wonderful honor. Taylor said the transition of leadership is underway and she hopes to build on the many successes the foundation has had in the past 20 years. Kelly and Dan Taylor have two children, Maggie and Lily, and live in the Crawfordsville area. Also today is being celebrated as Loyalty Day by members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars throughout Central Indiana in the VFW's 6th District. Each year, veterans travel to a city in the 6th District to participate in a Loyalty Day parade. It has been held in Noblesville and other places, according to Billy Davis, who has organized this year's parade in Crawfordsville. Crawfordsville was chosen this year for a number of reasons. The Loyalty Day parade has not been held here before, and today, Crawfordsville's VFW post will be renamed to honor Army Specialist Brian Bowman, who was killed during the line of duty in Afghanistan. Davis plans to distribute 500 American flags so that area residents and guests can wave their flags and show their loyalty. In other news, it's possible that Montgomery County will miss the brunt of the storms expected to pass through central Indiana tonight through Monday, but it's likely we will see some lightning, which can always be dangerous. Flooding along Sugar Creek will remain a concern. Readers are encouraged to monitor local media for weather updates in case severe weather strikes. You can access the latest weather information by visiting our friend Paul Poteet at paulpoteet.com or by watching our news gathering partners, Wish TV, or visiting wishtv.com. Today is Poetry Day at the Carnegie Museum. That's across from the Crawfordsville Public Library on Washington Street. You can hear readings of E.E. E. Cummings, among other writers. The event is going to be held from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. today. And In God We Trust is the theme of a special service at 6 p.m. Sunday at the Harvest Fellowship located at 5113 South County Road 200 West. It is co-sponsored by the American Red Cross and will feature Fred Phelps, Mayor Charlie Coons, Chaplain Mike Wren, Mark Money, and others. The annual Crawfordsville Rotary Club Golf Scramble will be May 18th at the Crawfordsville Country Club. Lunch will be at noon. Shotguns start at 1 p.m. Registration and payment is due by noon on May 13th. The cost for that event is $60 per person. Whole sponsorship is $50 apiece. You can make your checks payable to the Crawfordsville Rotary Club at Box 841 in Crawfordsville, 47933. Frank Phillips' guest this week on Frankly Speaking is Denise Maxwell from the Crawfordsville Red Cross. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website. The same place you can find several Montgomery County Historical Society videos. Today's news is being brought to you by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips and treatment advice provided free 24 hours a day. Local weather and sports with Candace Rorman are both up next. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. I'm Stu Clampett with a brief look at your forecast. Indiana's weatherman, Paul Poteet, will return to Studio B on Monday. The, this extended forecast graphic is brought to you courtesy of paulpoteet.com. Today looks breezy and partly cloudy with a high in the lower 70s, and tonight we see a possibility of some rain out there. Thunder showers are possible as well with a low in the mid-50s. Sunday looks mostly cloudy with a chance of rain and, and isolated thunderstorms. Our high should be somewhere around 68 degrees. Sunday night looks colder. Rain showers are likely. We should have isolated thunderstorms Sunday night as well. 
and lows in the mid 40s. Monday looks mostly cloudy until midday, then becoming only partly cloudy with a high around 60 degrees. And Monday night, partly cloudy with lows around 40. That's your local forecast. Stay tuned for sports in just a moment. I'm Bob Zahn of Zahn's Floor Covering, and floor covering is our passion for your home. At Zahn's, we offer ceramic, granite, marble, laminates, and beautiful natural hardwoods, and we do them better than anyone else. Come by Zahn's Floor Covering, see the flooring possibilities available to your home, all backed by personal service, professional installation, and a three-year warranty. Come by Zahn's Floor Covering today and see why we want to be everywhere you walk. I'm Kena Storm with your local sports for the weekend. The Crawfordsville Athenians have continued their streak of wins after winning their seventh straight game on Friday night against Lebanon. They also earned their third no-hitter of the season as Jordan Kiger helped shut out the Tigers 12 to nothing. Jordan Kiger is now 3-0 on the season after throwing his no-hitter on Friday night. The Crawfordsville Athenians will next play today when they host Greencastle at 11 a.m. The Lady Chargers softball team was finally able to get in the game on Friday night against Western Boone after they hadn't played since April 22nd. However, Western Boone was able to win both of the games in the doubleheader against the Lady Chargers. The North Montgomery baseball team also played a doubleheader on Friday night, but they headed to Frankfurt. They were able to win both of the games against their conference foe and are now 500 in the conference. The Crawfordsville Lady Athenians also played two games on Friday night, but it wasn't a doubleheader. They headed to Lebanon to take on their conference foe in a makeup from Thursday and played Zionsville so they wouldn't have to reschedule their originally scheduled Friday night home game. The Athenians fell in both contests. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for the weekend. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy to Paper in Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Roman. You stay classy, Crawfordsville.